Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, we are speaking about creating opt-in forms for your Squarespace website. So what exactly is an opt-in form and why is creating opt-in forms so important? Well, when someone comes across your website or your brand for the very first time online, they might not decide to make a buying decision with you. They might not yet be comfortable with making a purchase on your website. So you need to warm these customers up. When someone comes to your website, they might be what's known as cold traffic, which means that they don't know you yet, they're not familiar with you. And when it comes to actually making sales online, people like to buy from people and companies that they know, like, and trust. So one of the ways to build up that know, like, and trust factor is by having an opt-in form and giving away something of value for free so that you can actually kind of entice them with your free giveaway and you can remarket to them via email. But not only that, email is becoming increasingly important as well. When you're creating ads, for example, on platforms like Facebook, you can actually upload your database of emails to Facebook and market to your database alone and also create lookalike audiences as well. So this can help you to get in front of the prospects who are most likely to take action on your website. So if you are doing paid traffic campaigns, utilizing platforms such as Facebook, such as YouTube ads, such as uh, Instagram, then it might be a really great strategy for you to send people to a lead capture form or an opt-in page rather than directly to a sales page. Now, there are times when sending someone directly to a sales page might actually convert better for you and bring about tangible results, but an opt-in page is always great. It's a great way to generate leads and drive new leads to your business on a consistent basis. So it's definitely something you want to know how to put together for your Squarespace website. So as you can see, I'm on Squarespace here and I'm gonna kind of be showing you some of the ways in which you can easily create an opt-in page for your Squarespace website. So I'm going to kind of create a new page. I'm gonna create a blank page, go with a blank canvas here, and we're gonna start from scratch and edit this page. Um, now, obviously you're, you're going to want to make this page as attractive as possible. Um, I'm just kind of gonna go through it quickly so you can kind of just see the steps to creating an opt-in page. So you're going to want to spend more time on it but I want to kind of show you the fundamentals. So firstly, let's add some page content. Um, and as you can see, there's like different templates that you can utilize here. Um, I'm actually gonna go down to the contact one or to the form one, the contact one. Um, it kind of looks like a, a, an opt-in page already, some of these, and you can just change out the information. Um, you also have the form one as well, and they kind of look like opt-in pages that you can kind of use as a template. Um, and you have the newsletter one as well, which is kind of like a, a simple template that you can utilize. So I wanna go for the newsletter because this one looks pretty good. You've got the image there. Maybe you can have an image of yourself or an image of the free giveaway. Um, so I'm going to actually select that one. So now all I have to do is edit this information. So for me, um, I have the formula, which if you haven't downloaded yet, you definitely should. It's the free guide to generating leads and sales online. A copy of it is always behind me in my videos. So if I wanted to create a lead capture page for my formula, um, then I can uh, kind of edit the image that is here. Um, so I might want to get rid of it and then upload my own image. So I'm going to find my own image of the formula and I'm going to put that onto the page. So awesome. So now I have the formula which is there and I can actually change this text. Um, I'm, in fact, I'm going to change this whole thing because this at the moment um, is, is, is my newsletter and that, and this will kind of connect directly to my Squarespace email marketing. So that's something that you want to keep in mind as well. Um, I've got a video on Squarespace email marketing and how to use the square, the email marketing that is kind of embedded within Squarespace, how to utilize that. If you want to know more about that, then definitely watch that video that I've done. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Um, but if you click on edit, it will give you options to kind of, you know, edit and change uh, the settings for this particular newsletter opt-in. And when you go to storage, you can see you can store emails. So if, if you was to publish the, this page and send traffic to it, you can store emails in the, in the Squarespace email campaigns. 
Um, and at the moment, I haven't set up any lists for this particular Squarespace website. Um, so it will just send people to my default list. But again, in the in the video that I done about Squarespace email marketing, I'm going to I'll show you how to set up different lists and so on and so forth. So if you do want to use the Squarespace email campaigns, then that's definitely a video you are going to want to check out. But you can also connect other services as well. So if you have a MailChimp account, you can connect directly to MailChimp. Um, so that means that when someone signs up um, on the form that's already on this page, then they'll get sent directly to your MailChimp account. But if you don't do your email marketing with MailChimp, you might want to use Zapier to connect your email marketing platform with Squarespace. So Zapier is like a, a third party platform that allows you to connect one platform to another. So you can connect your, for example, Aweber or Constant Contact or whatever your email marketing provider is, you can utilize Zapier as a way to kind of integrate the two, even though there's not like a direct integration between them. So that's one thing that you want to keep in mind as well. You don't actually have to use uh, Zapier in order to do this. You can actually just create an embed form on your email marketing platform. And I'm going to show you how to do this with MailChimp and with Aweber. So let's say I'm happy with, with the image, but I wanted to get rid of that and I wanted to have my Aweber form in here. Um, I could go to um, where it says code and let me slap some code onto this site. And then I want to go, go into my Aweber account. Now, when you are in your Aweber account, you want to go to sign up forms that allows you to create a sign up form. You design it um, how you like, you know, there's loads of different designs you can make use of. So let's say I wanted uh, this design. I can load up the template and I can make it my own if I wanted to. And then I can save my form, go to step two and then go to step three. And I have two options. I can save as JavaScript or I can save as the raw HTML. Um, so if I go to raw HTML, I can then copy all of this code. I can go back to my Squarespace and I can paste the code inside here. And so now when someone submits their information, they'll go straight into my Aweber account. Um, it's important to note as well um, that, you know, it depends on what email list you're, you've created that particular form for. So I've created this form in this particular Black Excellence Marketing email list. So if anybody was to submit their name and email address, um, in here, it will sign them up to that particular email list that I have created within Aweber. I have an Aweber tutorial as well. So if you're new to using Aweber or you want to use Aweber, then I'll leave links to Aweber in the description down below. I personally use Aweber because it's really easy to use. It's super intuitive um, and it, it does cost you. MailChimp is free to start, but that comes with a lot of limitations. There's a lot of things that you can't do with your free account. Whereas with Aweber, it's super easy to use. And that's one of the reasons why I use it so heavily. Um, so if you are looking for a, a more robust email marketing software and you're you know serious about driving new leads and sales to your business, then I would highly recommend checking out Aweber and also checking out my Aweber tutorial. Like I said, it will be in the description down below. Um, so now we've got Aweber on our Aweber form connected to this, to this uh, opt-in page. We can get rid of this one. So now our opt-in form is starting to come together. It's starting to look like something that we can actually start to market. What we might want to do is add a little bit of, of text up here uh, to make it a little bit more captivating. So this might be uh, download the free guide to driving sales to your business online. Maybe I use an exclamation mark. Um, and then obviously this is my title. So I'm going to want to make this bold and I'll, I'm going to want to make it stand out as much as I can. So I make that my heading one or heading three. Heading one was a bit too big. So yeah, awesome. So now I've got a title, um, download the free guide. 
So now you have your captivating title. You might also want to add um, a little bit of text as well to describe what this, this ebook is about. So um, this ebook will teach you how to drive new leads and sales to your business online. And so now you have your opt-in page. So just kind of, I wanted to show it within MailChimp as well. Um, how, if you wanted to, to, to use your MailChimp as an opt-in form, um, you go to MailChimp. Once you've set up your account, uh, you go to audiences um, and underneath audiences, you will see where it says sign up forms. And hopefully you can see where it says embed forms or embedded forms. So you would go in there and you can create your form and you can copy your form once you're happy with it. So you'd cut in here, you would kind of make your changes to your form. Um, and as you can see, it shows you what the form looks like here. Um, and once you copy the, copy the form, you can go back within Squarespace. Um, again, you go to the code section, uh, add some code and you can kind of just paste your code in there and apply. And as you can see, I've got my form here. So if I wanted to use this form instead of this form, then I can delete that one and I can bring that up here. So that's to kind of just show you um, a variety. So you can use MailChimp if you've got your Squarespace connected to your MailChimp account and just integrate it that way. You can also embed your MailChimp forms within your opt-in page or you can embed other forms from other platforms as well, like Aweb or Constant Contact, whatever platform you're utilizing and embed it. Or again, you can use the Zapier feature and connect it uh, to your Squarespace website. So there's loads of different ways you can do it. It's up to you, whichever one you prefer. But this looks like a pretty decent landing page if you ask me. Um, and now I can go ahead and start marketing this landing page um, on Google ads, on Facebook ads, in my YouTube videos, in my Instagram profile, wherever it, wherever it is, now you can actually start going away and driving traffic and driving leads to your business. And you don't want to make your opt-in form um, too overcomplicated. Um, the more information you request, so as you can see, I've got the first name and the email address here. Um, but the more information you request or you require from your website visitor, the less likely they are to actually leave you with that detail. So I normally just leave it with the name and the email address. Um, you can also edit the success page. So if I go uh, into my Aweber account, for example, I can actually decide what page people go to after they submit their name and email address. That can be a page to my products, to my services. I can be upselling, I can be cross-selling and so on and so forth. And I speak about a lot of this stuff on my YouTube channel. So maybe I'll follow this up with um, another video on specific to Squarespace. Um, even if you're not using Squarespace, then let me know what platform you're utilizing in the comments down below. And I'll probably try and do a tutorial on creating an opt-in page specifically for your platform. But as a rule of thumb, you want to be thinking about, you know, what product do you offer? What service do you offer? What can you give away for free to entice your target customers to actually join your email list? I see too many websites with, you know, just the sign up form. They just want people to sign up for updates or something like that. But that's not enticing enough. That's not going to make your website visitor want to be on that newsletter, want to be on that list. What can you give them for free? What lead magnet can you create that's going to uh, encourage them to sign up? Um, you also want to make sure you're emailing your customers often or your potential customers often at least once a week so that they don't forget who you are. Um, and I speak about a lot of this stuff in my email marketing playlist. I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description down below. So make sure you go and check that out. But if this video has helped you to create your opt-in form, do leave your opt-in forms in the comment section down below. I would love to see and review those um, and see how you guys have done with them. I also have the formula, uh, which I've explained a lot in this video, but I give that away for free as well um, as a part of my lead magnet. So make sure you go and download that. That's going to teach you the fundamentals to drive in new leads and sales to your business online. A copy of it is behind me. I'll also leave a copy somewhere on this screen and also in the description down below. So make sure you go and grab your absolutely free copy. Um, but I hope this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, 
watch some of my other great videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day, download the formula and I will see you soon.